Dear friends, let me briefly outline the application of Zoom and use the Zoom uh, software for the recording purpose. So all of us would have by this time installed Zoom in our PC. So uh, we shall go to the Zoom application. By double clicking Zoom, I will open this and we have to go to the new meeting. So it is getting connected to the new meeting. So it will take a few seconds to get connected. So this can be done for uh, recording with the PowerPoint as well as without PowerPoint. I will tell about both these applications. My net is slow, so it is getting a little bit late. But let's see, it's getting connected. So if we have to use the PowerPoint in this mode, even before opening the Zoom, we have to open the PowerPoint and keep it minimized. So that when we share the screen, you can go to the PowerPoint and directly open the PowerPoint. So now this Zoom has opened. So you can press the, there are options here. You can see at the, uh, at the base, the record option, the share screen option, manage participants, all those. So here, now I'm going to the record option. By clicking the record option, uh, whatever I talk will be recorded here. So if you want to do a video without PowerPoint, this mode will be the best. And while doing this recording, there are a few things that we have to take care of. One is the background. So you should see that uh, the background is uh, really um, uh, no light penetrates through the background. I am sitting before a curtain. Uh, so when I was doing my, uh, my initial recording, um, because it is a glass window, light used to penetrate and it would disturb the video quality. So I, I, had, uh, uh, I had made it thick. So I, ha I have another uh, lining to the, I have added another lining to the curtain. So now it is uh, not transparent. Therefore, the background you should take care of. So usually a green background is uh, more suitable. And we should uh, record it in a place where there is no uh, interruption in the audio. Uh, so the <clears throat> so when I did the first recording, I was uh, I did it below the fan. But uh, the noise of the fan also appeared in the recording. And if, uh, if uh, our room is near the roadside, then the vehicular movement should not uh, disturb our audio. So you should take care of that. There should be no, uh, uh, no interference in the uh, sound. Uh, therefore, I am now in a uh, air conditioned room. I have switched off the um, fan. So there will be no interference in the sound. And also little bit of additional lighting is required. So in this room, I have a uh, night lamp above my head. Uh, so that is adding some extra light. And uh, also I have, uh, I have another uh, reading lamp near me uh, so that it is adding extra light. Otherwise the video may appear dark. So take care of the uh, light settings when you are doing the recording. So this is how you can do the record. You can just give the lectures in this uh, fashion. Now, if you want to use PowerPoint along with this, then go to the share screen option. And already I told you, I have uh, kept the PowerPoint in a minimized manner. So I'm going there, clicking share. So now my PowerPoint is appearing. And also you can see my video on the side. So if I want to talk about this PowerPoint, I will go to slideshow. Click this button as usual. And so now PowerPoint slide is appearing and I will explain about this PowerPoint. I can go to the next slide, give the introduction about the serials, how it appeared, etc. I go to the next uh, next slide and uh, tell about the um, structure, etc. And likewise, I will be explaining the PowerPoint. So after I have 
done my PowerPoint. So here there is a button stop share. So go there, stop it. After you stop, you can stop the recording by this button. If you want to pause the recording, you can use this button. So you go to this button, you can stop recording. So after you stop recording here, you can see end meeting. So go to end meeting, click there. Again, end meeting for all, give end meeting for all. So now the recorded video is getting converted. It will take some time for conversion. So after this video is converted, it will be stored in, uh, in our PC, in my document. There will be a folder, a Zoom folder and this uh, video will be saved there automatically. So it is getting converted. So after it gets converted, we can go to the my document. We can open the Zoom and see if our recording has been done. So the conversion is taking some time. So uh, another thing I, which I wanted to tell was in uh, our workshop, it was told that recording using a uh, Zoom is absolutely safe. And only if we conduct Zoom meetings, there are issues of security because an unknown participant can enter our meeting. Even that could be made secure uh, that uh, resource person has told by using certain, certain measures. Therefore, uh, here recording using Zoom will not be a problem for us because we are not uh, sharing it. We are just recording and we will be converting it now. So it's over. So automatically it opens. So here you can see this PC documents and then in the Zoom here this will be our video recording. So I'm opening that now and I will see that the video is being played. So this is done. So now we have, a, uh, I think we will be able to do the recording using Zoom uh, with this software and uh, thank you all for giving me this opportunity.